Dear friends, welcome to Inquest, in-depth analysis and to the point. In this video, let us discuss about 6th October 2021 daily current affairs. And this activity is useful for your UPSC, KPSC and all other competitive examinations. Dear friends, the index of today's discussion. Number one, health benefit package of Aishman Bharat PMJ has been revised. So in this article, we will be seeing what are all the new changes that are in this scheme. Number two, state of the world children report of uh, UNICEF has been released. Number three, Pandorama fallout leaders scramble for defense. So in this article, we will be looking, you know, studying about or discussing about Pandorama issue. Number four, climate experts, Italian theorists get Nobel, you know, for physics. Number five, government has approved setting up of seven mega integrated textile region and apparel. Number six, Pradhana Mantri Bharatiya Janaushati Pariyojana achieves the target of financial year 2021-2022. Now let's see each and every article in detail. So first one, the news, uh, the article is related to Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. National Health Authority revises health benefit package of Aishman Bharat PM J. The National Health Authority, so this is actually the apex body for implementing Aishman Bharat Pradhana Mantri Jana Arogya Yojana has revised the health benefit package master under the scheme. So this is called as HBP. HBP means health benefit package. In the revised version of health benefit package that is actually titled as HBP 2.2, rates of some health packages have been increased by 20 percentage to 400 percentage. So some health packages have been raised from 20 percentage to 400 percentage under PMJ. Around 400 procedure rates have been revised and one new additional medicinal management package related to black fungus has also been added. So we all know post COVID infection that is black fungus now uh, it is also included in uh, Aishman, uh, you know, Bharat scheme. Now, uh, let's uh, know more about this uh, scheme. Aishman Bharat PMJ aims to achieve the target of universal health coverage. So this is the slogan of the WHO and provide access to free and affordable healthcare services to the citizens residing in the remotest of the areas. In 2018, Aishman Bharat PMJ was launched with the HBP1. So today we are seeing 2.2. So that is the revised version. So earlier it was, you know, 1.0 uh, HBP, that is health benefit package with a total of 1,393 packages. The scheme aims to provide free and cashless healthcare services up to 5 lakh per family per year to over 10.74 crore poor and vulnerable families, that is over 53 crore beneficiaries as per socio-economic caste census based on 2011 census database. Since the inception of the scheme, more than 2.2 crore eligible you know, ABPMJ beneficiaries have been provided with health coverage for secondary, tertiary and daycare procedure for treatment of diseases and medical conditions through a vast network of 24,000 empaneled healthcare providers. Health benefit package is the backbone of ABPMJ scheme. It not only defines the scope of healthcare services being provided, but also determines the extent of financial risk protection to, be, to the beneficiaries. Thus, HPP, that is health benefit packages, are designed to cover diseases with high incidence, high incidence in the sense those incident, you know, diseases that ha happen very often. So those diseases are called as high incidence diseases, prevalence rates and the disease which contribute to the maximum out-of-pocket expenditure. So what is out-of-pocket expenditure? Out-of-pocket expenditure is nothing but it is uh, the you know, the money spent by the individuals on their health related issues. So that is called as out of pocket expenditure. So the, you know, the Aishman Bharat scheme is going to actually prevent or avoid out of pocket expenditure. 
So with this, let's move on to article number two. So this article is related to Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So Sri Mansuk Mandovia releases state of the world's children report of UNICEF. So here this uh, article is important uh, in terms of prelims point of view. So here you need to remember the name of the report that is state of world's children report and that will be released by UNICEF. So Sri Mansuk Mandovia, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare released UNICEF's global flagship publication, The State of the World Children 2021. So this is the title and the complete, uh, you know, the report name is On My Mind, Promoting, Protecting and Caring for Children's Mental Health. The report details the significant impact of COVID-19 pandemic on children's mental health. So the report basically has the status of mental health of children post COVID-19 or impact of COVID-19 pandemic on children's mental health. So with this, let's go to article number three. You know, Pandora fallout, leaders scramble for defense. Now, what is this Pandora fallout? So this Pandora fallout is nothing but it is a kind of, uh, you know, illegal activity wherein, uh, you know, big businessmen and uh, celebrities, they actually invest in something called as shell companies. Now, what do you mean by shell companies? So shell companies are nothing but those companies which are there only on the document, but they are not, you know, physically existent. So after a few years of investing on uh, such shell companies, they will also show the profit earned and they will bring back to their own countries as white money and uh, they evade tax and everything. So this is a, you know, the great, greatest offense to any country. So that is called as Pandora fallout. Now, in regard to this particular uh, scam, so there are a lot of documents have been released. So that is the reason why we say leaders scramble for defense due to Pandora fallout. Now let's see the entire article in detail. So world leaders were on a defensive after the release of millions of documents detailing how heads of state use offshore tax havens to stash assets worth hundreds of millions of dollars. So they actually avoid or uh, they don't uh, pay tax uh, instead of that they invest the money in uh, shell companies. So 35 current and uh, former leaders are featured in roughly 11.9 million documents. Look at this number, 11.9 million documents leaked from financial services companies that include reports of luxury mansions on the French Riviera, Monte Carlo, and California. The so-called Pandora Papers were obtained by the International Consortium of the Investigative Journalists and released in uh, stories by media partners, including Washington Post, the BBC, and the Guardian. Now, uh, allegations, allegations ranging from corruption to money laundering and tax evasion, holding assets offshore or using shell companies is not legal in most of the countries. So wherever such investment is legal, so they actually invest in shell companies abroad or overseas. But the revelations are embarrassing for leaders who have pushed austerity measures or campaigned against corruption. So those who actually campaigned against corruption you now might be there in this particular uh, leaked uh, documents and uh, doing all these illegal stuff in other nations. The ICIJ found links between almost 1,000 companies in offshore havens and uh, 336 high-level politicians and public officials. More than two-thirds of the companies were set up in the British Virgin Islands. So this is about the, you know, the complete details of this article. So with this, let's go to article number four. Climate, climate experts, Italian theorists get physics Nobel. So U.S. Japanese scientist Shukuro Manabe and Klausa Asselman of Germany and uh, Giorgio Parisi of Italy. So they actually get Nobel uh, Physics Prize for climate models. So area under which they are, uh, you know, rewarded uh, this Nobel is in the uh, subject of physics. And uh, the reason or their uh, contribution is in the climate models and uh, understanding of the 
physical system. So only these points that you need to remember. So names of the people and the area in which they got Nobel and their contribution. So with this, let's go to article number five. So this article is related to Ministry of Textiles. So government has approved setting up of seven mega integrated textile region and apparel that is in short called as PM Mitra parks with a total outlay of rupees 4,445 crore in a period of five years. So with a view to realize the vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi of building an Atmanirbhar Bharat and to position India strongly on a global textile map. So this is to make India on a global textile map. The government has approved this setting up of seven PM Mitra parks as announced in the union budget for 21-22. PM Mitra is inspired by 5F's vision of our honorable prime minister. The 5F formula compasses farm to fiber, fiber to factory, factory to fashion, fashion to foreign. So this integrated vision will help furthering the growth of textile sector in the economy. The seven mega integrated textile region and apparel parks, that is in short PM Mitra, will be set up at Greenfield and Brownfield. So Greenfield is nothing but it is a barren land. Brownfield is nothing but, you know, some kind of a development is already there, but it will be further developed. So such sites located in different willing states. So any state that is willing to take up these projects is welcome. So proposals of state governments having ready availability of contiguous and uh, encumbrance free land parcel of 1000 plus acres along with other textile related facilities and ecosystems are welcome to take part in this particular activity so with this let's go to article number six so this article is related to ministry of chemicals and fertilizers so pradhan mantri bharatiya janaushati pariyojana in short called as pm bjp achieves the target of financial year 2021-22 in just six months. So this is the landmark achievement. So Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Bureau of India, PMBI, the implementing agency of Pradhana Mantri Bharatiya Janaushati Pariyojana. So you should remember the implementing agency of PMBJP has completed the target of opening 8,300 Mantri Bharatiya Jana Aushadi Kendras for Pradhana Mantri. So it is Pradhana Mantri Bharatiya Janaushada Kendras PM BJ case uh, for the uh, financial year 2021-22. So now uh, let's see the complete details of this particular article. All the districts of the country have been covered under Pradhana Mantri Bharatiya Janaushati Pariyojana. Effective IT-enabled logistics supply chain systems for ensuring real-time distribution of medicine at all outlets have also been introduced. Product basket of PMBJP presently comprises of 1,451 drugs. So these are the number of drugs that will be sold in these uh, you know, medical shops or outlets and 240 surgical instruments. Further, new medicines and nutraceutical products like glucometer, protein powder, malt-based food supplements, protein bar, immunity bar, etc. have been launched. Uh, with a vision to provide quality medicines at an affordable rate to common man, especially the poor, the government has set up a target to increase the number of Pradhana Mantri Bharatiya Janaushadi Kendras to 10,000 by March 2024. As on 5th October 2021, the number of stores has increased to 8,355. These kendras will ensure easy access of affordable medicine to people in every nook and corner of the country. At present, three warehouses of PMBJP are functional at uh, Gurugram, then Chennai and uh, Gauhati, and fourth one is under construction at Surat. Janaushati Sugam. So this is actually the mobile application for Pradhana Mantri Bharatiya Janaushati Pariyojana facilitates the public by providing digital platform at the tip of their fingers. So these are all the articles of 
uh, this uh, date. And if you have any questions, you can definitely put in comments box. We will be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching. Namaskara.